Welcome back to the next episode of the SMV3 Warpless Seminar. Today's episode will be the Pyramid in World 2, which is one of the most physically demanding levels. When you start the level, hold B and run forward like always. Run a little bit and jump up to the second set of sand blocks and enter the door. From the door, run until you reach the line in which the roof ends and do a full big duck jump, landing on the beetle. The beetle will be on the third stair when you land on him. Press nothing to small bounce off him and land back down onto the fourth stair. Jump from the fourth stair grabbing the beetle and land on the second stair. Do a small turn back jump to land on the three vertical blocks. Run to the edge of the question block and jump passing the other two vertical blocks. This will land you on the hill, letting you start the awesome P-Speed building process. Fully build P-Speed and jump up to the middle row with the three vertical blocks blocking your path. Run to about this line and throw the shell to break the bottom block. I'll stop right there for a second. When Mario throws an item, there's this buffer period where the item won't hurt you. It's just like a mid-air shell jump, and we use this tech to go fast in the pyramid. After the shell is thrown, duck under where you broke the block, and right when you're fully under the block, jump and break the block above you to help you keep your P-Speed. Run into the pipe to boost your P-Speed and full big jump turn around to land on the platform above and behind you. Shoot the plant before you fully turn around to avoid some lag. Run a little bit and start to turn around before you hit this line and jump up to stomp on the beetle. If the early turn back is a little too hard for you, then you can do a wall rub to easily jump up where the beetle is. But keep in mind it is slower. The stomp on the beetle can be a little tough since the roof is so low. You'll want to stomp and throw him to the right almost in one motion. Run with him so he breaks the block, and when he whizzes back at you, jump over him and duck under the blocks to proceed. Here, take another quick slow-mo look at the beetle stomp, and don't worry about doing it super perfect until you get comfortable. Also, if you accidentally knock the shell to the left trying this, and you lose the shell, you can run all the way to the left right here and come back and the shell will have respawned. Once you have passed the next set of vertical blocks, build your P-Speed and run down the hill until you get close to the beetle and full big jump over to the next hill. There is no way to avoid landing on the hill, so be very careful it doesn't put you to a dead spot when you land. Exactly how I explained in World 1 Level 5. Find yourself a comfortable spot to land on the hill. As soon as you land on the hill, jump right away up into the higher straight path. Run under the first beetle, jump over the second beetle, and run right into the five vertical blocks doing a full big duck jump turn back to avoid the shell, but also let him break the bottom block for you. This is the shape of the jump you're going to want to make. Keep holding down during this whole jump so when you land back on the ground, you can duck under the block. Much like earlier in the level, jump again under the block while still holding down to give you more room to move. After that, you can let go of down and start to jump onto the pipe. Keep in mind, depending on how fast you do the ducking section, the plant might be in your way, so just shoot him if he is. Run and build P-Speed till you reach the end pipe. Once on the other side, jump over, on top, or shoot the boomerang bro, and run until you hit the end card. There is a different way you can try the end if you would like. I don't want to say it's harder, because it's not. It's just awkward. You don't think it would work when you think about hitboxes. Here, let me show you. It looks weird, doesn't it? You also get to abuse the ability to not get hit by the shell after it breaks the block. If you're wondering, yeah, this is faster and you should 100% learn it this way. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching episode 13. I hope you learned a lot. If you like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up and tap the subscribe button to know when episode 14 comes out. We will be doing the last episode of World 2. I will cover the overworld, the boomerang bros, and the airship. See ya.